Hi, I'm Ryan Holger with TEC Tube. Today we're going to be going through troubleshooting thermostat wiring. We're going to go through two different methods that you can use to troubleshoot two different kinds of problems. You're going to need some basic tools to do this. One, you'll need wire nuts and or jumper wires, either one, preferably both. You're going to need your electrical voltmeter and then you need basic hand tools like nut drivers and screwdrivers and so forth. Let's go ahead and get started. We're down here at the thermostat. We're going to disconnect, in this case, the red wire and the yellow wire. And then using our jumper, we're going to connect the two of them together. Or if you don't have that or you prefer, you can use a wire nut. I normally use a wire nut. Make these two together. So now the red and yellow wire are one continuous loop from the, from the rooftop unit down to the stat and back to the rooftop unit. So let's go upstairs with our meter and test it. Now that we have red and yellow connected downstairs at the thermostat, it should make a complete loop. So if you can think of red sending voltage out all the way downstairs through our wire nut all the way back up to yellow. We're going to check to see if that's actually what's happening. So taking those two wires off. So we'll have nothing connected to the rooftop and nothing connected to the thermostat anymore. And we're just checking wires at this point. All right. On my electrical meter, I'm going to go to the continuity setting. On mine, it shows like a little uh, sound wave on there. And because it's a multi-choice thing, I have to press select to get it to choose that option on my screen. Now what it's going to do is it's going to send a voltage out on the red wire and it's expected it to come back on the black wire. And if it comes back successfully, it'll make a beep. So if it's a continuous loop, it beeps. If it's not a continuous loop, it doesn't beep. Now let's hook it to our wires. So I'll put red on red. It doesn't really matter which one you put on which. And I'll put black on the yellow wire. No beeping sound. That means it's not a continuous loop. I'm sending a voltage out on the red wire downstairs and it is not coming back on the yellow. So one of these two wires is not working. In order to figure out which one's not working, we got to switch it to something else. So we'll switch it to red and white and see what happens. I'm going to disconnect red from yellow and we're going to get the white wire out. In this case, we'll go white to red. Once again, you can do any color combinations you want. You're just trying to find the one that doesn't play nice with everybody else. So now I got white and red connected together in one continuous loop. So let's go back up on the rooftop with our meter and test to see if those two are okay. Now that we're connected downstairs with the thermostat between uh, red and white, let's see what happens here. I'm still set on continuity. My screen still says continuity. I always like to test to make sure it's good. Go back on here now to red again, and let's see if red and white can make a complete loop. It's beeping, so I have a complete loop. That tells me that red and white are both good. When I did red and yellow, it wasn't good, so hence, yellow is the bad wire. So I need to either find and fix that problem or get rid of that yellow wire. In many cases, you'll have extra spare wires that were not used. In this case, I'm using five wires, but it's an eight wire cable. I would simply switch it. Remove the yellow wire and switch to say, for example, orange or blue. Blue would make more sense. Switch to blue and downstairs to the thermostat, remove the yellow wire and switch to blue. And now the blue is doing the cooling Y1 job. That's how you can figure out which of your wires might be broken somewhere. Now we know that all of our wires are good and we got it all wired up with wires that are, are fully functional right now. Now, if we have a call for cooling or heating or fan from the thermostat and nothing happens upstairs on the rooftop, we have to decide is the thermostat the problem or is the rooftop the problem? We've already eliminated the wires. We've tested those, right? So the way we normally do that is we test to see with our meter on voltage. So think of it this way. On the red wire is 24 volts. It is coming out and being sent downstairs to the thermostat. Those switches down there close a contact between red and white for heat, red and yellow for cooling, red and green for fan. So let's just work with the fan for example sake right now. When it calls for fan, it closes that switch and my meter can pick that up. This meter reads differential voltage. So the difference between these two points. If that switch at the thermostat is closed, it'll read zero, zero volts. So a call for fan means no voltage on R and G. No call means I'll have 24 volts. It's kind of inverted logic. So the first thing I want to do right now is just to make sure I have power in general. So I'm going to go on red, R and C common. I have 26.3 volts. I'm looking for 24 volts plus or minus 15%. So I'm good. All right. So now if I go to red and yellow, I also have 24 volts. 
That means the stat is not calling for cooling. If I go to red and white heating, 24 volts, no call for cooling. Red and green, 24 volts, no call for cooling. Let's go downstairs and create a call for fan, and we'll come back up here and measure this again so you can see the difference. Creating a call from the thermostat to request the equipment to provide heating, cooling, or fan depends on the kind of stat you have. In this particular case, we open up the door, and we simply press the fan on button, and now the fan will turn on. So the thermostat just made the connection between R and G, which energizes the fan upstairs, so we can go upstairs and see what our meter tells us up there. Now from the thermostat, we have a call for fan. You might be able to hear this fan. This is a pretty quiet unit. It's a vane axial fan instead of belt driven, so it's pretty quiet, but you can hopefully hear the fan running on there. We'll take those same measurements we took a minute ago and see what we got. So I'm gonna start with R and C just to make sure we have power, which we obviously do. All right, 24 volts, I'm good. When I go to R and Y for cooling, 24 volts, because there's no cooling call. R and W for heat, 24 volts, no heating call. Now when I go to R and G, there is a call, so I'm expecting zero, and there is. So the logic's inverted, zero means that I don't have a call, 24, zero means I do have a call, 24 means I don't. So electrons go out on this red wire, go downstairs to the thermostat. The thermostat's job is to close the connection between R and G on a fan call, which it did, and electrons come back on this G. My meter measures differential voltage. So right now, R and G, since it's one continuous loop from R all the way back to G, it's one continuous loop. Electrically, it's like R and G are the same spot. So I'm reading no difference between those, right? So R and G, no difference, right? Or almost no difference, right? Sometimes you'll see 0.1 or something like that, right? So that's how I know I have a call on there. Um, this should help you out. We know how to troubleshoot the wire. We know how to troubleshoot the call. If for some reason the thermostat was definitely calling for fan and the fan was not running and I wasn't getting the fan call on here, now I know that I, I uh, have to further troubleshooting to do. I would go down to the thermostat and I'd put these terminals, put these right on the, on the thermostat output and see what it's doing over there. Or more easily, I could jumper R and G here and see if the fan runs and do it that way. Then I'll know which of those two devices is the problem. So hopefully that helps you out.